Processing an invoice is really simple using My Business. As I've said before, we aggregate all tasks and features of My Business in their logical groupings on top of the main menu. So here we want to do something relating to a customer. So we go to Customers, Transactions, Customer Tax Invoices. You will see a list of all your previously processed tax invoices in this grid. You choose Add a Tax Invoice and over here you see the main body of the invoice. You choose your customer. If you don't have one you can add one off the fly here by just choosing Add a New Customer but we'll invoice out Morning View Bicycles. And then you can enter the information in the fields that are relevant to you. You don't have to enter every field but the invoice date is very important and probably a customer reference. You then go into the bottom of the body of the invoice and you choose which item that you want to invoice. Let's just say we're going to do a helmet. The program then automatically fills in the information for you. You can work inclusively or exclusively of tax. We'll work exclusively. And the program automatically totals the lines on the invoice. If you want to add a quick note, you can. Uh, please wash often and that note will now appear on the invoice when it's printed. When you're finished, you can say save. Or email is the same as saving and it will email it as well. So I'm going to choose save and what that does is it updates the customer's account with that amount of the invoice. It takes a unit out of inventory or stock and it also updates your general ledger accounts in the balance sheet so that that sale will appear on your final profit and loss report. Your tax is also updated for your tax reports if tax is relevant to your business.